they, they spend so much effort trying to get you out of the elements outside, they try to keep you from getting cold and wet. So they built this $2 million facility to get you cold and wet. <laughs> and I know there's not much you can really do in the pool, like you can't swim laps, can't get a tan. So and I notice if you're swimming in the pool and you look up, there's sprinklers on the roof. <laughs> in case the surface of the water bursts in the <laughs> Chlorine must be flammable, apparently. If I even let the rug burn, the whole place will go up. <laughs> And then they have these tables on the side with the umbrellas. Is that supposed to protect your skin? Like, spend all day at the pool and go to 40 watt birds. <laughs> and then uh, they have like these life saving devices there, like the signs and all. No lifeguard on duty, so at your own risk. Two million dollars for a pool, they can't cough up minimum wage. <laughs> they give you these uh, life preservers, these Gilligan's Island brown things. You think those will work? I don't think so. Like, oh, Ben's drowning, throw it in, splash. Uh, dude, you're gonna have to come up for it. They also got the hook with the 140 foot handle, so you can save someone's life without leaving the comfort of your hotel room. <laughs> Watching Dukes of Hazard reruns saving lives. So I look when you go to the pool and I see women, they kind of have to congregate, like get together and chat. And I wonder what they're talking about. It's probably like, oh, we're in the pool. Couldn't do this on dry land. <laughs> and I see men, they seem to have to throw things like nerf darts, pool noodles, and occasionally women. I can see if women are just standing there, oh, we're in the pool. <laughs> Notice the guy doesn't ask permission first. Like, that'd be too weird. Like, hey, you mind if I could throw your body across the pool? <laughs> so I had this experience when I went to the pool. So I went to this hotel and I wanted to go to the pool because I like the hot tub, you know. Go to the hot tub. And there's I went over there and there's these three ladies sitting there, and I'm all nervous because I can I we get really nervous when there's other people in the pool with me. And I think that's because when I'm at home, people don't get in the tub with me there. <laughs> and if they did, I wouldn't treat them the same way. I'm going to take a bath, some guy walks in, and I'm like, uh, hey, uh, where are you from? <laughs> so I had this experience. I went to the pool, and I went to the hot tub, and these ladies are just staring at me, and I'm so nervous. So I just take a step in, take another step. Finally, I just sit down. You ladies might not understand this, try to follow along. Guys, I had nine cubic feet of hair in my shorts. <laughs> and I've got a dilemma. Because I'm holding onto the sides so tight, my legs are starting to cramp. And if I let out of the air at once, the force of the blast will flip the ladies upside down. <laughs> so I come up with this plan, I think. Tiny bubbles. I just let out tiny bubbles to match the bubbles of the jets in the tub. So I squeeze a little, you know, star she blows. <laughs> the ladies all went, I said the wrong thing. I'm like, oh, pardon me? <laughs> no, it was the air in my shorts. No, you see the pressure. No, the cramp. I had this cramp. It was unbearable. So, hey, where are you going? <laughs> Thank you.